Jolie here, four seconds out with Reese Mould, back in the win column here at Fight Academy. How do you find that? Good support as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on the win? Yeah, I'm just glad I've got it back under my belt, uh, belt now and got back to winning ways. That I made mean, me more nervous than anything really. I just want to get back winning. Uh, I had things running through my head thinking, what if I've not got it no more? And all them little things were running. But now that, that's just settled everything for me now. Did the crowd help you stay focused and making the ring walk and everything like that? Yeah, obviously I've had a crowd all my career and then obviously my last fight, my biggest fight in my career. And they weren't able to go and I missed that. Especially when you've hurt, hurt your opponent and you've got him rocked. They help you, you know. Uh, or when you get tired, I know I breeze through that, but they're definitely there and they help you a lot, massively. At the end of the fourth, it looked like you got clipped with a little shot. Did it affect you at all? Yeah, no, I, I hit him with some decent shots, really, and I knew he won't. He was getting hurt because he was holding all the time and I could hear him in there, but he won't going nowhere. What's next and what weight are you going to be at uh, in the next couple of months to the end of the year? Hopefully I can get out September time. I'm hoping to get out another twice before end of the year. Maybe if my next one's another run out or whatever, what, if we get something, an opportunity, then we'll take it. Uh, a run out of doom, I just want another big a big title fight before the end of the year, either at featherweight or super featherweight. And would you consider a rematch with Lee Wood? Yeah, definitely. I think Lee's a great lad. I've got a lot of respect for him. Going into the fight, I didn't. And now he carried himself after the fight and especially all his team, Ben Davison, and all of them carried the Sams very well and they're coming out of the word me after the fight, even after the fight they've spoke to me and but yeah, definitely if if the opportunity come we'd take it with our fans. What did you learn from a loss? Not necessarily the fight in general, but just learn from losing that helped you uh, bring in the winning mentality for this fight? Yeah, obviously I have now I've, I've experienced that and I got a unbeaten record to protect and stuff like that and it's just a added pressure what's off to my shoulders and especially now I know I can mix it with the likes of Lee Wood. Lee Wood's one of the best, I mean he's world ranked. I've on 13, I was on 13 fights going into that and I pushed him all the way. Uh, so that's done my confidence world of God. And now you've experienced the loss, do you feel like it was? it's not as bad as you expected? Because like 2021 everyone's so obsessed with keeping that O oh, but sports men and women should go through losses. Do you feel like it's not as bad as it you would kind of expected, if that makes sense, because you can still go on to bigger and better things. Yeah, I believe boxing is the only sport where everyone thinks if you get a loss, you're done. Whereas football, your man news and stuff can lose a game, but they're still the best in the division. Whereas boxing, you, you get a loss, so oh, he's done with everyone. But that's not the case. I'll, I've took that. I've learnt so many things from that fight, and now I've got to put it in action on the big stage. Obviously, this for me wasn't a big fight, and it was more about getting the rounds in tonight. And I was very tight and I was anxious in there tonight. I just wanted to get the win. Look forward to seeing you back at your best very soon, mate. Thanks for your time.